All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? For sale. For sale. Do you like for sale? Yeah. And why? Because it's a simple game all around. Simple game, yeah. And what are you doing in for sale? You buy and sell properties. Ooh, sounds like a real estate mogul you are, hey? <laughs> I guess. Well, cool. Well, show us how it's played then. Okay, so um, you get a different amount of money depending on how many people are playing with you. Okay. We're going to act like there's four people playing. So, you'll also take out two, like, take out an amount without peeking at it, like, an amount of cards. Okay. Without peeking at them. And Depending you, on how many people are playing. How many people can play? Up to six. Oh, nice. Okay. So, so it's you varied. keep those out of the game. The first question is, how do you win? You get the most money at the end. Okay, so you're trying to get the most money. Yeah. Nice objective to have. Okay, yes. all right, let's buy ourselves so, some property. We're going to flip over four. Because there's four players. Yes. Okay, and what do we have here? Oh, we've got numbers on cards of different things going on, huh? Okay, sweet. All from a doghouse to some, ooh, you got some high value property. What's the highest value property in there? 30. Oh, so yeah, you got some high properties. All right, well, how do you buy your property? You auction it. So one person's going to start out going, I'm going to start with 2,000, and then the next person has to increase it. So, so up to like not into your three. pile, but they say, okay, I'm going to Yeah, into a different three. pile. And okay. then if you pass, then you take the lowest value card, okay, and you get half of your money back rounding up. Okay. So if so, I passed, I would get 2,000 back. So people. the first person to pass is going to get the doghouse. Yep. <laughs> and the next person is going to get some high the next value person cards. Person mm. could get twenty three. Okay. So those get divvied out. Okay. Then what? Do you sell it yet? Not yet. Kay. Then everybody has those cards. And then you do it again until all of the cards are gone. So do it again. Let's put some more out there. Let's see. Oh, nice! A camping tent, a manhole with a welcome mat. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> All right, a lot of this one's a little bit more varied than what you're bidding for. So you divvy all that out. Sounds pretty yeah. simple. It's buy a property, and then at the end, everybody's got. Then everybody all has cards in their hand. Okay. So you just build up. You buy properties. You're spending your money. Now are people going to run out of money? Probably. Okay. Maybe you can. All right. So this is just to randomize till the end of the game to show us how it works, right? Yeah. Okay. So suppose those are the cards that everybody purchased, not got dealt. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell the players. Okay. So let me look at my hand of cards. Okay. Ooh. Of course, I'm not going to show everybody else what I've got, but I've got some sweet cards. I bought really well. Nice. Okay. It's time to sell. How do we sell? So you sell almost the same way that you start. So you have some money left. Maybe. Yeah, you saved a bunch of your money because I, oh, yeah. I spent all my money because I bought some good <laughs> properties. Yeah. So then you flip over four of the cards. Okay. And the highest here? is 15, lowest is avoid. Okay. So that's what's possible. There's And there's multiple of these. Yes. So in this one we've got... 8,000, 15,000, 5,000, and 3,000. Ooh, okay. So you like to order them like that. Okay, so yes. now what do we do? So now everybody picks a card from their hand, one of the properties that they want to sell. Okay, let me pick a card from my hand. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do a different one. All right, so we secretly we select it. it. Okay. Yep. All right. Then everybody's got one and they said three, two, one, go. Now flip them over. Oh no, you hosed me. You <laughs> the 30. <laughs> oh. So then person with the highest amount gets the highest amount of cards. So I amount So play. I spent my high twenty eight card and didn't get the fifteen thousand. <laughs> you swiped it, so I ended up with eight thousand. Oh and that card's out. Yep. So those got sold and I'm left with Less money. Oh, okay. And then what? <laughs> then you do it again until all of these are gone. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do one more example. Okay. I just realized that I put this upside down. All right. Let's see. What have we got? 
So we got 14, 10, 9, and 6. Yep. All right, let me pick another card. All right, I'm ready. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, these guys are bidding big, huh? All right, so I beat your 12 this time, so I get the 14,000 check. I get 10, they get 9, and they get... So that six. guy got 6,000 for his measly one, and I got 8,000 when I spent my 28. <laughs> oh my goodness, who's, who's, it all depends. who's selling best so far? That guy's selling his one for six, nice. Good. So a little bit of random, you don't know what the other players are gonna play. Yep. And then and once you've once sold all your properties. Everybody has all their cards. Okay. Then they add up all of their money. Add up and what whoever you, has the most wins. Add up what you saved and what you sold. That's so yep. simple, but it looks so fun. It is. Nice. All right, well, what would you rate for sale? I would probably rate it a four. All right, nice. Thanks, Brooke. Yep.